so we are live good evening to all i am dr sahil goel assistant professor in the department of community medicine at north dmc medical college and hindura hospital delhi on behalf of iapsm e connect pg seminar coordinating team would like to welcome all of you today we have an interesting topic to be presented and discussed at that is community outreach in tuberculosis tb one of the communicable diseases accounts for a very high morbidity and mortality in india as well as globally thus with the disease that carries public health importance with an aim for tb elimination in our country by 2025 i hope that it would be a great learning experience for all of us i am privileged to be the moderator for this session today we are fortunate to have distinguished faculty member with us i welcome professor dr nandini sharma as an expert faculty for the session she is former dean and currently the director professor at mamsi mulana azad medical college delhi and head of the department of community medicine at delhi university welcome ma'am she has more than 30 years of teaching and research experience her primary areas of research include tb rch and health planning and management she has over 150 research paper publications to her credit in peer reviewed international and national journals also contributed chapters in five books and published two monographs she has also undertaken several research projects funded by international and national funding agencies she is promoting mentoring and conducting operational research especially in field of tuberculosis since the inception of rntcp program in 1997 in india she was state task force chairperson on implementation of rntcp in medical colleges of delhi for more than a decade and currently the chairperson for operational research committee of national tb elimination program ntp government of ncity of delhi she is also the chairperson of several data safety monitoring boards and institutional ethics committees member of several expert committees constituted by delhi government ministry of environment and forest ministry of health and family welfare government of india she has received many awards like delhi state award for meritorious services in the field of healthcare in delhi in 14 to 15 who fellowship on economic evaluation of disease burden in 2012 and also nominated as auxiliary faculty at dr william m skoll college of pediatric medicine usa 95 to 96 now may i invite today's presenters dr kavi malar theru jagan and dr shanon sharafali the post graduates in the department of community medicine from shri b m patel medical college and hospital research center bijapur karnataka from the department that had organized third iapsm con state chapter karnataka in september 2023 over to you dr kavi malar and dr shanon yes sir thank you so much sir uh good evening to everyone today me and my doc and uh, my colleague dr shanon will be presenting a seminar on the topic community outreach in tuberculosis so coming to the contents today we will be dealing about the uh, national and global tb burden and the targets uh, at the global level and at the national level then we'll be moving to the national strategic plan and what are its pillars how it contributes in terms of uh, community outreach and what is community outreach and what is community engagement and we'll be moving to the three main strategies of uh, community outreach that is private sector management and engaged and empowered communities advocacy strategic communication and social mobilization and we'll be talking about the gettiman project so coming to the global burden of the tuberculosis in the year of 2022 around 1.3 million people have died from the tuberculosis of which uh, 167000 people were infected with hiv also and in the same year uh, 10.6 million people fell ill with the tuberculosis globally of which 5.8 million were men and 3.5 million were women and to note 1.3 million children so of which uh, the total global burden 
46% of the new TB cases, which has occurred in the worldwide in the year of 2022, uh, 46% has been contributed from the Southeast Asian region. So, um, the, there is 30 high TB burden countries of uh, which uh, which contributed around 87% of the new TB cases. Uh, and two-third of the uh, global uh, burden of the uh, tuberculosis was from the eight countries, of which India is also one. Then we'll be moving to the uh, national TB burden. Uh, so in the path of recovery forged the post-pandemic and from the guiding light of the NSP 2020 to 2025. So the NTP has shifted its gears in the 2022 year and also accelerated its pace towards ending the TB by 2025. So we call 2022 a milestone year. But why so? Because there was the highest notification of the uh, TB cases, that is 2.4, lakh cases, which is an increase of 13% when we compare to the year 2021. And the case notification rates were about 172 per lakh population. And to note, the highest uh, TB case notification we have achieved from the private sector so far, that is 7.3 lakh uh, TB cases were noted from the private sector and the MDR and rifampicin resistant uh, patients who were diagnosed in the year of 22 was 63,801 patients. And also the presumptive uh, TB examination uh, rate of the country which rose to 1281, that is 1,281 per lakh population, which is 68% increase from the year 2021. Then we'll be going to the uh, global and national targets. So uh, the global targets to end TB by 2035 is to reduce the 95% of the 95% uh, of number of TB uh, deaths when compared to the year 2015 and to reduce 90% TB incidence rate by 2035 and to reduce the catastrophic cost due to the TB to 0%. Then we coming to the SDG goals of 2030, it is, uh, it is to be attained by the year 2030 and 90% reduction of the number of TB deaths from the year 2015 and to reduce 80% of the TB incidence rate and 0% of the catastrophic cost due to the TB. Coming to the national targets, that is TB-free India by 2025. So uh, India has accelerated or aggressively to achieve the SDG five years ahead of the target. So coming to the National Strategic Plan 2020-25, it has four main pillars. One is to prevent, detect, treat and build. So all these four pillars were formed to uh, make uh, India TB free with zero deaths, disease and poverty due to the TB. So under prevent, there are two strategies. So one is to uh, provide the TB uh, preventive treatment and the programmatic management of the latent TB infection and also to scale up the TB infection control measures, not only at the head facility level, at the home level and community level. So they have uh, sub strategies under each strategies and uh, in the detect. So the two strategy, the first one is to scale up the free and uh, high sensitivity diagnostic test and algorithms and to intensify the TB case uh, finding efforts to be made. Then under the treat, uh, the strategy is to strengthen the uh, treatment of the drug sensitive TB and drug resistant TB and also to address the TB in the priority populations. Coming to the build uh, pillar, so uh, they mainly focused on multi-sectoral collaboration, surveillance, monitoring and evaluation and human resource management, private sector, how to engage the private sector and how to engage and empower with the communities and advocacies and strategy communication were given focus. In the seminar, we'll be dealing with all the strategies under the uh, national strategic plan, which are uh, formulated along with the uh, community outreach. So before going into the each strategies, we will know what is community outreach. So according to the Collins English Dictionary, so outreach programs or schemes, uh, what they do is that they try to find people who are in need of help or advice rather than waiting for those people to come and ask for help. So the, even though the concept is seemingly easy to understand, but it is not easy to define. So indeed, the definition of the community outreach depends heavily on the health project's goals and the community context. So coming to the community engagement, so it is a process basically 
of working the collaboratively with and through the environment to address the issues which affect their well-being so the community uh, based tb activities which are conducted Uh, not only in the uh, formal health facilities but outside the uh, formal health facilities we focus more in the community based structures for example schools or play uh, or places of worships or in the homesteads so uh, in the seminar we'll be uh, focusing on the three main strategies the uh, first one is private sector management so under which as we know the private sector management has been increased in the notification uh, by using of the strengthening uh, by strengthening the use of schedule h1 register and penalizing non notification and partnership with the other organization and ngos and providing incentives for the uh, uh, notifiers and reporting the treatment outcomes next is engaged and empowered communities will be talking about the uh, tb champions and uh, tb forums and the patient support groups and the third one is advocacy strategy communication and social mobilization how mass social mobilization and nikshay mitra social media and media engagement and celebratory endorsement help in reaching the community so this uh, will be focusing on the first two strategy i'll be talking and the third strategy will be dealt by my co pg dr shanu so coming to the first one so the first one is private sector management so it is estimated that 70% of the tb patients care uh, seek care in the private sector so according to the nsp uh, 2020 to 2025 uh, it is crucial to ensure that the all the patients should receive timely diagnosis and good quality treatment and also we have to protect them from uh, high out of pocket expenditure and other public health services like uh, comorbidity whether they are having any tb uh, whether they having any diabetes or uh, hiv it should be tested comorbidity testing and contact investigation should be made counseling and how to add, uh, adhere to the medication uh, nutritional support and outcome reporting everything should be provided to the patient over the last 3 years the significant progress has been made under the ntep to expand the coverage and involve more private sector in the uh, providers in the tb care so as we can see in the graph in the 2013 there were only 60998 around 61000 only they were uh, pri uh, private uh, notification of tb and coming to the latest date of 2019 it was around 6 lakh uh, 78000 so we can see the notification from the private sector of india has been increased so what made what are the intervention which has been made to increase the uh, private sector notification is uh, there are four strategies which has been used the first one is information exchange so in under that nikshay portal so it is a real uh, real time web based uh, information system so under which all the uh, uh, private uh, practitioners should be uh, register the uh, uh, tb patients information so according to the year 2021 around 1 lakh 60000 uh, private hospitals has been registered under the nikshay portal next is to give incentive for the tb notification and for the uh, outcome reporting so 500 rupees will be given at the time of tb notification and 500 rupees will be given after reporting the outcome of the patient next is uh, nikshay uh, sampar so it is a national call center uh, it will be uh, gi giving the support for the private uh, practitioner to uh, to clarify all the their doubts next is uh, regulatory measures so first we'll be talking about uh, mandatory tb notification so under which uh, they have been penalizing non notification of the tb patients and enforcement of the usage of h1 schedule register so uh, to uh, prevent the misuse of the tb anti tb drugs um, and price ceiling of the anti tb drugs by the uh, national pharmaceutical uh, pricing authority and uh, coming to the public provision of services so nikshay portion yojana has been implemented to provide the monetary support uh, to meet the nutritional requirement of the tuberculosis patient around 500 rupees per month and, uh, and also they are focused in supporting the contact investigation treatment adherence and also in the uh, preventive therapy and coming to the finance national partnership guidelines so they started a partnership uh, with the ngos and with the private practitioners to uh, in, uh, to increase the tb notification and next is uh, pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana that is pmj so it is the um uh, health insurance for the eligible households so they can uh, uh, use it up to 5 lakh per year 
uh, next we'll be talking about the joint effort for elimination of tuberculosis that is jeet project it was an indian initiative which is uh, made to improve the tb care particularly through the private sector collaboration so uh, uh, they first implemented a, a model of ppia that is public private interface agency model on which they uh, uh, gathered all the private practitioners and private care providers and they focused more on diagnostics and treatment adherence was the main component of the PPIA model. So uh, as it was successful, they scaled up with the G uh, JEET uh, to form the PPSA model that is public private service uh, agency model with the global fund support. So and also they have made the partnership with the organization like find chra and wjcf that is foundation for innovation and diagnostics and uh, and the jeet has also significantly uh, incre uh, contributed to increase in the private uh, sector tb notification nationally despite there is uh, despite a decline in the 2020 due to the covid-19 the jeet itself has played a vital role in leveraging private sector involvement in india's tb eradication efforts so uh, because before to the implementation of the jeet that is uh, prior to the 2018 so the private sector tb notification was around only 20% in india when we compare with the 2016 to uh, 2016 to 2017 there was only 16 percent increase in the private tb notification but after the implementation of the uh, jeet project so it showed a massive jump of 41 percent from the year 2017 to 2018 since then uh, after the implementation of the jeet so the uh, notification of, from the private sector has been constantly above 25 percent and the contribution of the jeet overall we can say in 2018 uh, among the total uh, tb cases notified the jeet contributed about 29 percent in 2018 and 58 percent in the 2019 and it was 68 percent in 2020 so what are the challenges we are facing in the private sector management is Mostly, more than 70% of the privately notified patient, they does not get benefit from the program services, uh, such as accessible to the free diagnostic or to the free drugs provided, and also the public health actions such as contact tracing, counseling, and the comorbidity testing, they are not availed. And uh, the limited engagement of the uh, Ayush care uh, healthcare providers, who remains the first contact between the uh, uh, you know TB patients, so there is a delay over there in diagnosing the tuberculosis patient and there is also delay in the payment to the service providers which may lead to the mistrust by the private providers on the government and the patient data management uh, for example some people uh, some practitioner does not report on the uh, outcome maybe they'll notify but they'll uh, not notify they'll not report regarding the treatment outcomes and also if the patient is changing from one geographic location to the another so it might lead to the duplication of the patient entries so which may pose as the major challenges in the private sector Next, we'll be going to the second strategy that is engaged and empowered communities. As we discussed earlier, so the community engagement is it is it is a process basically. We will develop the relationship between the stakeholders. So here the stakeholders will involve the community also to work together and also to address the health-related issues to achieve the positive health impact and the outcomes. And also it aids in strengthening the trust between the community and the national programs so that it will provide a platform for the community to have their voice heard and also their views can be considered and acknowledged. So community engagement itself, it will play a crucial role in the mission to end TB. So uh, first is TB champion. Who's TB champion? Who can become, who's, uh, who, can, who can all become a TB champion is? Only the TB survivor who has been trained by using the standard training curriculum. They'll basically have a three days of workshop and uh, they'll be provided a certificate after which they'll be called TB champion. And the TB champion should also be willing to work actively in the community for the TB elimination. So how to identify potential uh, TB champions? So he or uh, she should be a TB survivor and they should be eager to participate in the TB response and they should openly speak about their personal experience of TB. How did they overcome all the stigmas? All How did they adhere to the medication? Everything, they should uh, share their personal experience of TB. 
and they should be able to attend all the meetings and workshop which has been uh, uh, conducted and they should be able to travel within the allocated district or blocks and they should also able to spend time in the community when it is required so what do they do uh, what are the potential activities of a tb champion so basically they have to identify the people with the tb and they have to refer them for testing and personally they should accompany the people to the health facilities so that uh, they should make sure the patient has been tested promptly and they should act uh, participate also in the acf drives and to educate people on the tb and to provide psychosocial support to the persons when needed and also they should motivate the persons who have dropped out from their medication and uh, they should also visit the tb patients and the families and they should address the issues what they are facing and they should also address the issues surrounding the stigma and discrimination and uh, if if needed uh, uh, she, she he or she should motivate the household contacts to undergo tb screening and tpt whenever it is required and uh, they should organize the community meetings and address them on the tb in the local languages so coming to the patient support groups so what is the uh, as we all know the role of uh, psgs in supporting uh, care of the chronic conditions so uh, the meetings of the psgs in the tb uh, enables patients to have the friendly interaction and which will also help them to address their psychological issues and also to overcome the stigma and uh, they also serve as the platform for the tb patients and the caregivers and their families to support one another by sharing their experiences regarding the treatment and the patient support groups also will uh, arrange the meeting between the doctors and the patients and the caregivers to address uh, any uh, side effects and uh, any queries regarding the treatment so it will build the confidence among the patients regarding the treatment which becomes the enhancing factor for their adherence to the prescribed treatment so the last is uh, uh, tb forums so the tb forum it has been an important mechanism for facilitating the community engagement because it provides a platform for the community and the program to come together and to deliberate on various aspects of the program so the tb forums are at the national level state level district level and the block level and at the block level it is supported by the tb champions and the patient support group so at the state level uh, it will be chaired by the principal secretary or the health secretary and it will be co-chaired by the nhm uh, mission director and the member secretary will be the sto and who can be the members of the state tb forum so the tb champions and network representatives of the patient living with hiv and representatives of many health uh, department uh, and also ngos and ima uh, people and panchayati raj social welfare coming to the district tb forum so it will be chaired by the collector or the district uh, magistrate and it will be co-chaired by the ceo of panchayat and the member secretary of the district tb forum will be the dto so the members will be same as of the uh, state uh, state forum and but they can also include the chief medical health officers and the national forum it is reconstituted after every 2 years with the so uh, civil society representatives and the icmr representatives so uh, what are the objectives of the tb forum so what do they do they engage with the policy makers and implementers to make sure there is justice rights and dignity of the tb patients given for the effective service delivery and also to enforce the tb friendly law policy and programs and they also uh, address uh, to reduce the stigma and discrimination uh, around the tb patient and also they ensure the social security of the tb patient survivors and their families they also improve awareness of the various government schemes provisions and the facilities which are available for the tb patients and will make them to avail the services and to improve the treatment literacy so that there will be adherence among the tb patients will be improved and to engage in the evidence based advocacy with the stakeholders uh, stakeholders to expand the services so now as of now i talked about the first two that is private sector engagement and the uh, engaged uh, and empowered communities now i'll ask my co pg dr shannon to take over over to you shannon good evening everyone uh, i'll be continuing from where dr kavimala has stopped 
uh, actually we discussed in the previous slide that there are three major strategies which uh, is related to the community outreach one is the private uh, private sector management and second one is community engagement and third one is acsm that is uh, advocacy uh, social mobilization and communication so uh, uh, the first part covered the uh, private sector management and the community engagement part now i'll be uh, closing the community engagement part and continuing with the acsm so in the community engagement uh, in september 2022 government had published a compendium of best practices uh, so that uh, best practices across india uh, in different states and different union territories so that it will be used by other states and union territories uh, as for a potential implementation in their area so they had co uh, co a, a collection of best practices practices across india so in that uh, compendium the practices were divided into four tracks uh, the track one was community engagement in ending tb and track b was person centered models for tb care and track v was multi sectoral engagement and track d was panchayati raj institutions engagement so i'll be going to each one's example uh, the track a is community engagement so here we have taken an example from bihar we, uh, it is called the jeevika model uh, what they have done is they have involved the form some uh, inform formal and informal community groups to bridge the gap in tb referrals and testings so the, these uh, groups were called jeevika groups and these jeevika groups were, uh, were given awareness about the uh, uh, tb programs and their leaders were uh, communicated with uh, what to do and the outcome of this project was the uh, number of awareness programs conducted conducted by the jeevika groups was around 4000 only three districts uh, this was done in three districts bagalpur purnia and west chambara Uh, in these three district there uh, these uh, community groups could do 4015 uh, awareness programs 89 health camps and <clears throat> 447 uh, groups were uh, involved in this support so uh, uh, this was an example from community engagement that is a group engagements now coming to the track b that is person centric person centered models we have taken a single example for each tracks uh, the compendium has multiple examples from the uh, all over india so in the track b the uh, uh, the example is from karnataka where they had a differential tb care model that is uh, the concept is that not all the patient with tb are the same the mortality rate was rate was found to be three times higher among the patients with any of the following risk the risk factors like elderly patients uh, elderly patients patients who are living alone patient, hiv patients uh, drt drug resistant tb patients diabetes uh, alcoholics etc so in this strategy the uh, the there was a risk and need assessment done at a personal level uh, and a personalized need based care and support services was given so this was a person centered model from karnataka and coming to the track c it is convergence and collaboration that is multi sectoral en uh, engagement we have taken example from assam where the uh, they go government has uh, used the students students as a, a bridge between the community so students contribute to tb awareness and screening in three districts of assam so students are trained in uh, trained as change agents to raise awareness and screen population to improve coverage of vulnerable populations in nine tb units covering a population of almost 5 lakhs there has been a support from community structures structures and tb champions as well as the teaching fraternity this project involved 40 schools 384 teachers and 7705 students in uh, this was in the piloting phase uh, coming to the last uh, Uh, track D, that is Panchayati Raj institutions, uh, involvement of Panchayati Raj institution. Uh, before that, Panchayats in India are an age-old institution for governance at village level. Through the seventy-third constitutional amendment, uh, Panchayati Raj were strengthened with clear areas of jurisdiction, authority, and funds. 
the PRIs have been assigned several development activities, including health and population stabilization. The Gram Sabha acts as community level accountability mechanism to ensure that the functions of the PRI respond to people's needs. So, <clears throat> uh, a concept of healthy villages has been envisaged for achieving SDGs in public Panjati Raj institutions. So, the TB Mukt Panjayat is an initiative in this direction. The objective is to empower the Panjati Raj institutions to realize the extent and magnitude of problems associated with TB take necessary actions towards solving them, create healthy competition among panchayats, and to appreciate their contribution. <clears throat> so one example we have taken uh, for this is from Bihar, where engagement of uh, 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 Panchayati Raj in, uh, institutions uh, in Bojpur district of Bihar. What they basically did, uh, did was 270 Panchayati Raj members uh, were sensitized through a district level sensitization program uh, the objective was to enhance case finding outcome and quality of TB services services with the involvement of P, uh, PRI members in decision making. There has been a consistent increase of 30 percentage in TB case notification in this in this in this district post the PRI sensitization in comparison to the 2021. There was a 30 percentage increase in TB case notification. Uh, Coming to the uh, last uh, last strategy, the uh, advocacy strategy, communication, uh, social mobilization. So it is a uh, three interconnected strategies, uh, which share a goal of bringing about behavioral change. So advocacy is basically works primarily to change the behavior of public leaders or decision makers. The communication generally targets individuals and small groups. Uh, social mobilization aims to secure community-based support. Uh, the distinction between these three categories is often unclear and interventions under one area may beneficially influence or facilitate process in the other areas. So coming to the uh, initiatives under ACSM, uh, before that, the ACSM implementation framework, which was given in the uh, National Strategic uh, Plan, uh, the mid-media, uh, the target audience, was general public opinion leaders, healthcare workers, etc. The tools used can be used are br uh, briefs, fact sheets, brochures, flyers, posters, uh, paintings, street plays, etc. Then social and personal media, same target audience. The tools can be Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, SMS, etc. Then mass media, the target audience are policy and decision makers, healthcare providers, etc. The newspapers, magazines, television, radio, etc. can be used as the tools. Community dialogues, the current patients, communities, vulnerable groups are the target audience. And uh, TB champions, meetings, events, uh, etc. are the uh, tools which can be used. And the trainings for healthcare workers, uh, it includes the tools can be modules and job aids. <clears throat> Coming to the mass social mobilization campaign. Uh, in order to take TB conversations as, uh, to a center stage, a three-week-long nationwide campaign was launched as a uh, run-up to the World TB Day 2022. The campaign titled Poorn Sang Sangalp Sangyut Prayas commenced on Nikshay Divas, February 24, 2022. Uh, a set of ACSM activities were, uh, has to be conducted week-wise were outlined, toolkits were developed, and capacity building sessions on the same were conducted with the states. And 24 states and 168 districts reported their activities suggesting that these three weeks, we, we, we could reach out to 2.1 million people through this campaign. <clears throat> Coming to the another initiative, that is a Pradhan Mandri TB Mukt Bharat Abhiyan, otherwise Nikshay Mitra initiative. Uh, for effective engagement of the community in the path towards ending TB, uh, government Im implemented community support to TB patients, the Pradhan Mandri TB Mukt Bharat Abhiyan. The objectives was providing additional support to improve treatment outcomes of TB patients, augment community involvement in meeting India's commitment to NTB by 2025, and leverage the CSR activities, corporate social responsibilities. So basically, in Nishay Mitra, uh, it enables people to adopt tuberculosis patients and take care of their nutritional and medical requirements. Uh, Nishay Mitra, uh, a person can choose the duration of support ranging from six months to three years. And the type of additional assistance they may provide are nutrition support, additional investigation for diagnosed TB patients, vocational support, additional nutrition support, et cetera. Uh, as of the uh, um, data as uh, on 9th of March, 2023, 
the nine uh, nine point six nine point five uh, five five lakh out of the nine point six nine lakh consented TB patients across the country have been adopted by Nikshay Mitras. <clears throat> So the recommended uh, uh, recommendations for monthly food basket include uh, this is monthly uh, three kgs of cereals and millets, one point five kgs of pulses, uh, uh, two fifty ml of vegetable oils, uh, one kg of groundnuts or milk powder, uh, milk six liter, and micronutrients can be vegetables, fruits, vitamin B, minerals, and option of for non veg thirty numbers per uh, month. So this was a recommendation by uh, NIH, NIM, Hyderabad. <clears throat> Coming to another uh, part of ACSM, that is social media amplification. In 2022, specially, uh, uh, this year was specially focused on social media presence. So the key idea was to ensure that states and districts open social media accounts, become familiar with them and begin to use them in robust and consistent manner. So. We, uh, we could open 350 plus new Twitter accounts and 220 plus new Facebook accounts uh, at state and district levels. The hashtag TB Mukt Bharat was established as the key mandatory hashtag for each post. This hashtag has received 2,80,000 plus mentions, reached 265 million and over 1.2 billion impressions during the period of January to December 2022. Coming to another aspect of media engagement, uh, the uh, uh, involving the media. So the regular and periodic program narrative interventions around key ca uh, calendar days was given, for example, on World TV days and the national TV, census TV, radio programming on air was used for uh, uh, purpose of ACSM. And district state officials were trained how to engage with the editorial media. And a toolkit was developed for editorial media engagement, providing customizable templates so that just change it and they can give uh, use it in their area. And this increased and sustained media, uh, and this all uh, uh, increased and sustained media coverage on TV. <clears throat> uh, another aspect was the celebrity endorsement. Celebrity engagement with the program was undertaken very actively over the year. 12 such celebrities featured in a special video pledging their support along with other stakeholders participating in the country's Jan Andolan against the TV disease. So Sri Rajkumar Rao, uh, fil uh, film actor, M M P V Sindhu, the badminton, uh, player Sri Ravi Kishan, another actor, and Dr. H. C. Deepa Malik, uh, para uh, Olympic uh, medalist, joined the mission to end TB as national brand ambassadors for this program. <clears throat> uh, another aspect in the uh, community outreach was the DBT direct benefit transfer. Uh, some part of this was explained in the private management. Uh, additional, this uh, here we have the Nikshay portion Yojana that is 500 rupees per month for. Uh, TB patients till the duration of the uh, treatment is completed. The incentives to the treatment supporter dots provider, uh, it's like 1,000 rupees one-time payment on uh, update of the outcome for death-sensitive TB patient. 2,000 for drug, uh, completion of intensive care of drug-resistant TB. 3,000 for completion of continuous phase treatment in drug-resistant TB. Uh, and incentive for tribal TB, uh, TB patients, 750 or, uh, on one time a payment at the time of notification and private sector we have explained already and incentives to informants for referring to some key cases to public sector facilities the uh, it can uh, it is 500 rupees one time payment on referral to public uh, uh, hospitals any member from the community civil society or asha who uh, can be the beneficiary of this Coming to the Getiman project, the uh, galvanizing Getiman stands for galvanizing actions for TB incidence and mortality reduction, accelerated novel interventions. Uh, to reach the goal of a TB mukt Bharat, WHO India is preparing to implement Project Getiman to augment technical assistance in the areas of public-private partnership, TB surveillance, knowledge management, implementation research, drug-resistant TB laboratories, TB infection management, and advocacy and communication across states and unitaries. This project is aligned to NTEP and is being implemented in 109 districts to demonstrate technical and operational models of TB-free initiatives. <clears throat> Coming to the uh, take home uh, conclusion, community outreach has two dimensions. One dimension focuses on connecting organizations that can provide complementary resources and supports. Uh, 
for example the nikshay mitra the uh, uh rich people or those who can afford to adopt the uh, patients are connected to the needy ones the other dimension focuses on building culturally responsive and community responsive br- uh, bridges between the program and the patients uh for example the tb champion and the tb forums etc so uh, so a comprehensive program involves both the program and the community taking full responsibility for case finding treatment follow up and evaluation in close association with or as part of the national tb program uh, the future outlook for tb control in india relies on a multifaceted approach including political commitment technological innovation community engagement and international collaboration uh, <clears throat> these are our references thank you it was a very nice presentation thank you dr kavi malar and dr shanon uh, for your nice presentation i am quite sure that our audience has been enriched from this and i have learned a lot uh, now we would like to hear some views uh, from professor dr nandini sharma about the presentation and the topic community outreach in tb in general thank you dr sail for giving me this opportunity to hear such excellent presentations by dr uh, Kavi Malar and Dr. Shannon, they are very thoroughly researched, and it is heartening to note the postgraduates doing uh, so much uh, quality research and putting in a presentation which is so comprehensive. Um, now they have presented the uh, national strategic plan and uh, the four pillars. So if you notice, uh, the overarching uh, strategy in all these would be community engagement. So that is why I think this topic has been picked up. because a disease as stigmatizing as tb and as complex as tb cannot uh, actually be you know controlled without every physician developing a public health viewpoint and every community medicine practitioner you know helping develop such a viewpoint so tb is a difficult disease to control and uh, you know the great physician who is supposed to be the father of modern medicine early 19th century dr william osler did put it in perspective the quote him that tb is a social disease with a medical perspective so with a medical aspect so basically if you see the social determinants are overwhelming and to control the social determinants those strategies which have been presented are obviously absolutely appropriate and uh, we have had many attempts you know we had ntp we had rnt we had then rntcp then we had ntep and now this revised starting from 2022 the revision that has happened in the national strategic plan that has put in place the uh, basic uh, change that has happened is possibly uh, the engagement component you know the document that you're referring to has been a very important document and if this is to followed uh, properly it can actually pro- promote a lot of change you know and uh, this program is basically one national health program which is run with a uh, with the medical college involvement also you know there is a separate division which involves the medical colleges and therefore this becomes very important for every community medicine student pg faculty member also to at least see in their own field practice areas that whatever strategies are adopted or whatever strategies are suggested can be adopted because we have that kind of trained manpower there which uh, and therefore that impact is going to be really huge so if we look at uh, the strategies that have been presented you will notice that apart from few not all are tested you know i think the we do have the impact of the jeet program we do have some impact of other strategies so this is a little uh, you know operational research kind of things which can be taken up at medical college levels and uh, operational research is a separate division in the i mean a separate component which is taken up in the program on the medical college level so uh, right now i think the differentiated tb care model that you spoke about is going to be tested in delhi so uh, it's going to probably start because unless we have the impact of the uh, whatever strategy we are suggesting it cannot be considered to be taken up on a large scale or on a national scale so hopefully all of you will contribute to that and as a take home message very very appropriately put those two dimensions that you spoke about and then the political commitment that you so spoke about 
And uh, fortunately for us, the political commitment in this program is there, you know, because uh, we do have this coming from right from the top and uh, NTV strategy that we have advanced by five years. So all, you know, Nikshay Mitra and all took off in a, you know, they took off in a very big way. But what is impact overall on all indicators or parameters that you want changed is something very important, which probably all of you can, uh, you know, work towards finding out and giving the findings to the program so that it can improve further. So with that, I think uh, I would uh, like to stop here. If there's anything that, you know, you would wish to ask. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, it was uh, enriching to hear from you. Uh, are there any questions or? I don't think uh, there are any questions. Uh, and uh, ma'am, you have rightly uh, mentioned, just to summarize that community outreach definitely aids in leading to a people's movement or Jan Andolan for TB elimination. And we agree with you, ma'am, that this in turn will lead to increased case notification and we uh, improved successful treatment outcomes as well in drug sensitive and drug resistant TB cases, even reducing stigma and discrimination associated with TB by assuring that it is a treatable disease and addressing the social determinants of TB through a multi-sectoral approach, even as you mentioned, involvement of medical colleges. Also empowering the TB champions and engaging them in advocacy, communication and community engagement activities. Thank you, ma'am. On behalf of coordinating team, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to Dr. A.M. Kadri, sir, National President, Dr. Anarao Kulkarni, sir, the President-elect, Dr. Harivansh Chopra, sir, immediate past president, Dr. Purushottam Giri, sir, the Secretary General, Dr. Minal Thakre, madam, the secre Joint Secretary, and all other esteemed office bearers of IAPSM for providing us this wonderful learning platform. We are extremely thankful to Professor Dr. Nandini Sharma, ma'am, for sparing her valuable time for her constant guidance right from the preparation to the presentation of the seminar. Now I request all the members of coordinating team to switch on their videos. I thank all IEPSM eConnect seminar team members for their valuable support. I request you all to please subscribe to the YouTube channel IEPSM eConnect to get updates and notifications of all such activities. Also, I request you all to be a member of IEPSM and come forward to work and learn together for many more upcoming activities. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.